Well, the 2017 Wrangler National Finals Rodeo is upon us, and part of the rodeo festivities, and it actually starts a week prior, is the Miss Rodeo America pageant where we will crown a new Miss Rodeo America tomorrow afternoon. And uh, yeah. joining me is a very special guest, the 2018 Miss Rodeo Idaho, Sydney Butler. Uh, you actually get your crown on December 12th. I do, I do. We have a, a ceremony sponsored by our sponsor, Miss Rodeo Idaho sponsor, Peterson Stampede Dodge. So they're being gracious enough to host the ceremony and they're actually unveiling the truck that they generously sponsor, a beautiful Dodge Ram truck for the year. So that'll be very exciting. But this whole week has just been wonderful coming down here not only to learn myself and try to take all of this in, learn for next year because it's kind of crazy to think about, but in just 365 days, a little less now, <laughs> it's all of us. So uh, pretty crazy, but it's been not only to take all of it in, but to support these wonderful ladies. There's 31 of them that have just shown this week and, and given it their all. And, you know, they're exhausted, they're tired, but you can't tell at all. You know, these ladies have just been, been wonderful. You see them walking around all over town and they all look like they're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, but we all know. I mean, just from what we do, mm -hmm. by day three, you're about done. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're on day eight here, and a lot of these girls have been here even before us, and, and I go back to my hotel room at night, and I think I'm so tired, but then I just wake up in the morning and tell myself every night that that those girls have it even even tougher, but you know, they're putting them through some pretty stiff competition so that they know that they can handle the year ahead, but each of these 31 ladies and all of the ladies in waiting for next year are just wonderful ambassadors for Pro Rodeo, so we're in good hands. Now we met last night at the MGM viewing party, yes. and uh, we got to talking a little bit about the Miss Rodeo in waiting, mm -hmm. um, and it's such an amazing, like you said, an opportunity for the ladies that have been, you know, you don't want to say crown, but I guess the coronation has already happened and they're ladies in waiting, um, to learn and, I mean, there's free seminars. Talk to us about what this week means to, as a lady in waiting and the options that are out there for those other states that have ladies in waiting that are thinking about coming out here. Right. Well, this week is incredible. I, I sort of touched on it already, but the the opportunity to get to view each one of these public Miss Rodeo America events is is invaluable, really, just to see what you'll go through next year and, and what these ladies get the opportunity to do to show their knowledge and their, their passion for the sport of professional rodeo. And it's just been an honor, really, to watch each of these ladies speak so gracefully and so just full of poise and grace, you know, everything that Miss Rodeo America should be just watch these ladies on stage and the Miss Rodeo America executive board of course puts on a lady in waiting seminar every year for the ladies in waitings and it's a great opportunity to learn a little bit about what's expected of you uh, the coming year where you'll get to go we heard from Trent who works for Greeley Hatworks of course and he talked to us a little bit about you know what sponsors expect of you all year and we also heard from the WPRA and the PRCA Secretary of the Year back in 2016 16. She, she came and talked to us about what's expected of Rodeo awesome. Queens at rodeos and you know although these are things you might have heard in the past at other seminars or of course maybe your, your state board talks to you about these things, it's great to hear this information from, from the people who do it themselves, you know Greeley and the, the secretary who firsthand knows what these Rodeo Queens need to be out there doing. So I just feel blessed and very humbled that I've had the opportunity to learn so much from such knowledgeable people who've been in this industry. A, a really long time and and know that I, I'm being set up for, for a successful year as Miss Rodeo Idaho. And let's talk about that because every state can be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, the pageant process can be different much like it is with uh, our good friend Brittany from Miss Rodeo Canada yes. and, and I'm going to talk to Emma with Miss Rodeo Australia here Wonderful. a little bit but you know not only countries but even with our mm -hmm. within our own organization the state mm -hmm. process can be a little different little bit different. What is it like in Idaho and what is the process for you to become a Miss Rodeo Idaho? 
Right. So there's quite a few programs that build their state contest around the Miss Rodeo America pageant. So they model what happens at Miss Rodeo America and you kind of follow the same format at your state level as well. So you get just a little bit of a taste on a much smaller level, granted, in, uh, in Nampa, Idaho, rather than Vegas, <laughs> Las Vegas, Nevada. Than, uh, than these girls go through, but you get a little bit of a taste of what it's like to compete at Miss Rodeo America. So we do a personality interview, a horsemanship interview, a written test. There's two sections of horsemanship, and just like the Miss Rodeo America pageant, you ride what's called a draw horse. So it's a horse you've never seen before, never ridden before. You don't get the opportunity to even warm up the horse. You draw a number out of a hat, and on that horse you go. So you, draw, you ride one horse for a pattern, the horsemanship pattern and then you get on a different draw horse for a rail, the rail work. And then there's extemporaneous speeches. So you're given a list of five topics. You get 10 minutes to pick a topic, write a speech, and then you have 90 seconds up on stage to give said speech. So, and then of course there's impromptu questions on stage. You go through personality. They judge you on personality, your appearance, and, and just your overall ability to be a great ambassador for the sport of rodeo. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Impromptu questions. What was yours? I had an impromptu question. We had a couple. So the girls down here get asked a couple questions from their application. You submit, just like a job, you submit an application oh. to the pageant. You fill out the whole thing and you send your resume in as well. So they asked a couple questions off your your resume and things like that. So I actually, to graduate from Boise State last May, did a, I did a, my senior thesis project was on how to further the sport of rodeo with new audiences. I live in Boise, Idaho. It's a very urban community, not super familiar with, with rodeo and things like that. Although we do live in Idaho, a heavily agriculture-based state. But you'd be surprised, you know, how many people aren't familiar with our sport. So as, as an incoming state queen, I wanted to research ways on how how best to reach out to these people. So I was asked a lot about that, that research. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. And then um, I know that the social media platform is, is huge. Talk to us about, since you are, you're literally three, four days from being taking over the duties. Yes. How can, how can fans and people that want to know more about you learn about you and how can they follow your journey throughout the year? Well, we'd love to have you. It's it's going to be an incredible journey, an incredibly exciting year. You know, so many of people have told me that it goes so fast in the blink of an eye. So I'd I'd love to share this incredible year with everybody. It's Miss Rodeo Idaho Incorporated, but it's just Inc. for short. So at Miss Rodeo Idaho Inc. on Facebook and on Instagram, and and you can follow both the program and my year as Miss Rodeo Idaho, and and then from there also give Miss Rodeo America page on Facebook and Instagram alike, and it's. Just incredible to watch what these girls do and Miss Rodeo Idaho has a fun page we highlight our sponsors and we also do what's called uh, a former Friday so we touch base with with cool. girls who were Miss Rodeo Idaho or Miss Teen or Miss Junior Rodeo Idaho at one point and and see where these girls are at in their life now so give us a like give us a follow I'd, I'd love to share my journey with you Awesome. And let's talk about, because I know you got a ton of things to do and we got to get down to the viewing part of it, <laughs> but let's talk about real quick because it's a unique opportunity to where you're not quite the crown holder yet, but you're within days, and we ended up meeting and said, hey, let's do an interview. Yeah. But, you know, you don't have the get-up, you don't have the sash, but this is an extreme opportunity to allow fans and followers of the Sport of Professional Rodeo to get to know you and your background. So why don't you tell our viewers about you know, your background within the industry and mm -hmm. what got you to become to run for Miss Rodeo Idaho? Well, it's kind of funny. Uh, like I said, I, I kind of call myself a city kid. I'm from Boise, Idaho. It's the largest city in Idaho, population density-wise. It's very urban, but my mother was actually involved. She was a TV anchor for the news station there for a long time. And so, yeah, she's standing off camera yeah. over there. <laughs> but um, she got involved with the Snake River Stampede, which is the largest big, big one, of, one. Exactly, yeah. one of the largest PRCA rodeos. I'll give a little shout out to the Snake River Stampede. They were nominated for one of the top five large indoor PRCA rodeos this year and to be up there with a great fabulous rodeo like San Antonio is an honor so 
But she got involved with the Snake River Stampede, emceeing a lot of their events, and from there got involved with Miss Rodeo Idaho, and so I grew up at the rodeo, and I grew up around the pageant, and I just fell in love with the Western way of life and the rodeo community and how everybody was so welcoming, and, and even though I didn't grow up on a ranch and I didn't come from a rodeo family, they were so willing to welcome us into their community with open arms, and, and that's what this way of life and this community is all about. So I just grew up around the pageants and I grew up through the 4-H system. Another shout out to 4-H and FFA, great programs. So I showed horses growing up as a kid and, and one day me and my best friend sat there and were like, let's be rodeo queens. So <laughs> <laughs> we just fell in love with it and it, there's not a better sport in the world to represent and I, I'm so honored and, and humbled and gracious to be your Miss Rodeo Idaho 2018. Absolutely, and, and you, you talk about growing up like that and it, and it brings back to a point of that my uh, guests I had at my table uh -huh. last night, the little 13-year-old Spitfire. Oh, oh man, she sweet is, uh, things. She, she was a treat. I got to spend all day with her. And Don't you uh, wish you had their energy? Oh, nonstop. Oh, it'd be so helpful this Not, week. Although she did fall asleep <laughs> early the first night. Her oh, mom no. finally told me. But, you know, in, in hearing her story that at eight years of age, she went to her very first rodeo in California, and she said, Mom, I want to be a Miss Rodeo Barbie, is what she said. <laughs> and, um, you know, she it, it's interesting to, to see how close stories can be in the growing up. And you don't have to be born into the Western sports industry mm -hmm. to get to where you are. And that's really yeah. important for the folks to know. Definitely, yeah. You can come from any background. And, and that's, again, one of the most important parts about being a rodeo queen is inspiring those younger generations, no matter their background, no matter where they're from. Miss Rodeo South Dakota 2017 this year, she's the first Native American in her state to be yes. Miss Rodeo South Dakota. And so it's all about inspiring those younger generations to grow up through our programs, accomplish their goals, accomplish their dreams, and, and keep our sport alive and well with, with all new opportunities. Many, many years to come and a uh, fabulous ambassador to the sport in a 2018 Miss Rodeo Idaho. So thank you so much, Sydney, oh, for joining us. Thank tonight. you. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. It's great to meet you. You too. Yeah. Jason Etlin here, 2017 Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. Night number three is about to begin inside of Thomas Mack. And we're with the 2018 Miss Rodeo Idaho, Sydney.